Look up on any night, and you could spot something shining in the sky. Something that you can't quite explain. So, here's a little guide to help you identify some of these unusual sights. On any given day, up to 90 metric tons of stuff falls to Earth from space. Most of it is just tiny grains of space dust. But they hit the top of the atmosphere with an average speed of around 40 kilometers per second. So they crush the air molecules in their path together with such force that the air glows white hot for just a brief moment. And we call these flashes of light meteors. When something bigger plunges into the atmosphere from the size of a pebble up to a boulder, the flash of light becomes a fireball, an exceptionally bright meteor, some of which can briefly light up the night sky as if it was daytime. Key to identifying meteors and fireballs is how fast they move. Most meteors are there and gone in just a fraction of a second. And even fireballs tend to last only around 5 to 10 seconds before they wink up. For this reason, these are often only caught on video by cameras already set up and recording, since they tend to be gone before we can grab our cell phones and capture the event. Do see something that looks like a meteor or a fireball, but it's moving much slower, giving you enough time to grab your phone and start recording, chances are you're seeing something a bit more down to earth. It looks like a literal ball of fire, possibly with bits of flaming debris trailing behind it you're likely seeing a piece of space junk, such as a spent rocket booster or a defunct satellite falling back to Earth and burning up in the process. Burning space junk typically remains visible for at least 30 seconds or so, with some larger objects taking up to a few minutes to pass beyond our view. Most of what we launch into space, though, actually ends up staying there, and we can see some of these objects as they pass overhead. The International Space Station is probably the most famous, and we can spot the station in the early evening or the pre-dawn morning when it's dark for us here on the ground, but the station's solar panels are catching the light from the sun. Look for a bright dot of light moving faster than a plane that takes up to about five to six minutes to complete its pass from horizon to horizon. We can spot satellites in this way too, are only visible from the darkest night skies, but Lately, Starlink satellites have been showing up rather brightly, uh, especially as clusters of them fly past shortly after they're launched into space. And in some cases, what we're seeing may actually have nothing to do with space. Around dawn or dusk, sunlight can illuminate the contrails of jets flying high overhead, causing these contrails to look as though they are glowing. With the tiny dot of the jet itself hidden in the glare, these contrails can easily be mistaken for a meteor or a comet. Here again, the key is to watch for how fast the object is moving, as it will be far, far too slow to be a meteor. It may even appear as though it's standing still in the sky, which might lead to the idea that it's a comet, but at the time of day that when we see these glowing contrails, the sky tends to be too bright to see a comet with the unaided eye. If a comet were to show up, that's bright enough to be seen during the day, you can be sure that the celestial event will be all over social media and that you definitely see it as a featured news story on theweather.com.